Okay, so I've had a few people ask me for some details about how I go about machining my CNC guitars. More specifically, they've been interested in understanding how I go from machining the front of the guitar to machining the back. So that's what I'm going to focus on in this video, flipping the guitar body over. But first, a little background. So unlike virtually all other builders of electric guitars, my guitars are not flat. They have curves and complex surfaces on both sides. So unlike other builders, I don't just do a 2D profile into a flat slab of wood from one side. Instead, I need to machine the body from both front and back. Also, because my bodies are generally thicker than standard flat guitars, I can't just use a flat plank of wood. So I start by making a block. The block consists of individual planks, typically of maple and ash. Some have pockets cut out of them that will provide the internal chambering and make the body lighter. I glue the planks together, let the glue dry, and then begin the machining. I start by clamping this glue laminated block to the CNC table. After I get the block as orthogonal as I can to the table, so that the planks are running in the true X direction, I zero off the middle of the top face. Here's a quick series of video clips that show the rough machining, as well as the finishing operations. I use a half-inch ball end mill for the finish operations. And here's how the body looks after all the features have been machined into the front. Okay, so the question now is, how do I go about flipping this block over so that I can machine the back of the guitar? And probably more important, how can I be sure that the CNC knows where my new zero point is so that the machining on the back half will match up with the machining on the front. The first thing to note is that I've machined some extra features in the front of the guitar. I'm going to use these holes in conjunction with a pair of mounting blocks and a base plate. Also, this hole is going to be used as my new XYZ0 when I flip it over. The two center holes will accept dowel pins and the other holes will accept long wood screws. Here's a look at the base plate. These holes correspond to the holes in the guitar. And here's a look at the two mounting blocks with the dowel pins I mentioned. The dowel pins are what tie everything together. I position the mounting blocks like so, and then place the base plate on top of the mounting blocks. I tap it all in place with a rubber mallet and then drive in the wood screws to sandwich everything tightly together. I can now flip the whole assembly over and place it on my CNC table. I use these dowels in the CNC table to position the base plate. These are the same dowels I used when I drilled the holes in my base plate so I know exactly where everything is. That is, as long as my CAM program knows where the corner of the base plate is, it knows where the XY0 location of the main locating hole is. And because I know the height of the support block, the CNC also knows how to get to the XYZ zero point I mentioned earlier that's in the front of the guitar. Once I clamp everything down, I'm good to go. Here's a series of quick video snippets that fast forward through the steps of machining the back. Here's how it looks after roughing. And this is during the finishing process.
And this is how it looks when all the machining is finished. All right, so there you go. I hope this makes sense. If it doesn't, or if you have any other questions, please visit my website at cosmguitars.com and leave me a message. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeff Kosmoski at Cosm Guitars. Thank you.